uh, mic check one two mic check one two hey uh, fellow youtubers truthers YouTube community what have you good morning it's uh, 5 a.m. in New York City so forgive my uh, little tiredness but I want to talk a little about this 11 3 event that everyone's talking about so supposedly this Sunday which is tomorrow because it's already Saturday 11 3 how time passes huh uh, they're waiting supposedly waiting for a event to happen in Seattle Supposedly, it's when the Seattle Seahawks are are gonna play. You know, there's gonna be a football game at 1, 1 p.m. So, everyone's waiting for this big event. It's a big prophecy. I don't know who started it. I think it was in Germany. Some channel started it. But everyone's been talking about this 11-3 event, this uh, false flag event. I could say I'm not a big YouTuber yet. <laughs> but... Yeah, supposedly this bogus banner FF event gone down tomorrow, Sunday, football, you know, football Sunday. So supposedly people are saying, which I'm guessing it's either going to be the big one, the earthquake that's supposed to happen in Cascadia, Cascadia subduction zone in Seattle, which is supposed to be horrific, just, I don't know, tens of thousands Millions of lives will be uh, affected, shattered, you know. God bless those people that are in California right now with the wildfires, which seem to have been um, explosions started, you know. It's just been horrible. If you've seen the footage going on there, I mean, it's, it's, it's a big state, California, but a lot of people are affected. You know, the PG&E is going through bankruptcy. I'm sorry, I'm rambling, getting off topic. I'll get right back to it. But this is important. In California, yeah, so they're shutting down power already to 2 million people. 2 million people without power for 2 weeks already. About 2 weeks. with the cra And the fires are not stopping. And what's crazy about it, it's, a felling, it's affecting Hollywood folk too. It's affecting people in Hollywood. Arnold Schwarzenegger evacuated, so... I mean, the, like they say, the elites don't care. The real elites, they don't care about anybody. Everyone's a puppet to them. The, whether you're the biggest Hollywood actor, whether you even work in Silicon Valley, because it's all, uh, comp, you know, <laughs> the word, com compartment is, <laughs> oh man, 5, 5 a.m. lingo. Everything is compartmentalized. There we go. Everything is, you know, people, just like in CERN, people don't know what they're working on until the finished product. Just like in NASA, people don't know what's going on. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, the poor firefighters, PG&E, which is going through, you know, bankruptcy, which is, I don't know how they could be bankrupt. They work, you know, it was, they're owned by the Rothschilds. The Rothschilds. <laughs> yeah, with, with a certain sentiment there. And yeah, God bless those people, you know, mil millions are affected and uh, there's no end in sight, you know, crazy winds, people are talking about explosions getting started, they're using plasma weapons, what have you, you know, whatever happened in paradise last year, also in California and also with the California earthquake on July 4th, that was in, um, that was in, I, f oh, I forgot the place. It's it's where they test rockets and stuff. It's China Lake, China Lake. Yeah, there we go. That was that was a whole different, you know, whole different um, rabbit hole, as they say, in itself. What was going on there? But back to yeah, back to the eleven three event. They say it's either gonna be the big one, Cascadia, subduction zone, which is a horrific earthquake, like. You know, in 1913, they had the San Francisco earthquake, which leveled the city. This is supposed to be like a hundred times worse, starting from Seattle, you know, Washington, Oregon, affecting California, tsunamis. They pre they're predicting this whole thing, and it's supposedly it's overdue, just like um, just like Yellowstone is overdue by tens of thousands of years, as they they say, you know, the <laughs> naysayers, the whatever whatever you want to call them, the scientists, which, you know, 
started shuffling evolution and the world is a globe and all this. I'm not going to get into all these things, but evolution, globe, yeah. You know who started that? The Masons, Freemasons, secret society. So eat a Mason for breakfast, as I like to say. Yeah, so the 11-3 event, which I think there's a chance it might happen. I'm thinking like maybe 25%, which is a big number too, because a lot of people are predicting it. But even from the Simpsons to German channels to a lot of people caught wind of that. So from that, so I'm expecting the Cascadia or an atomic bomb explosion, which could happen. You know, North Korea is there, Russia is there. Just, you know, over the over the Pacific, which nowadays for missiles to fly, it's very easy. You know, even with the Patriot miss, missiles, you know, failing in Saudi Arabia. If you go to my older videos with the whole Saudi Arabia crisis, 50% um, of their whole oil production was obliterated, stopped by one one drone, like a drone attack. Doesn't make sense. Like, a, all right, I get a swarm of drones. I covered in my other video, check the title. And uh, Patriot missiles couldn't stop them. So the craziest missiles in the world, the best American missiles, couldn't stop a few drones. And they cut off 50% of the world's economy on oil in Saudi Arabia. Doesn't make any sense when you start thinking about it. The more you wake up to this stuff, the less you start believing it because... um. It just sounds crazy, and when it sounds crazy already, you know what it is. It's fake news, it's, you know, the propaganda, brainwashing that we've been, I've been, we've all been, you know, doctrine, indoctrinated to for our whole lives. And when people start waking up to it, check my other video about grief. We're all grieving in the process because it sucks when you're lied to your whole life. You know, everything you build your life on, your foundation, your brains, your logic. You start thinking differently when you start seeing all these uh, FFs, false flags. Never mind your shootings. I mean, that's a whole other topic. But all these events, you know, you start seeing things differently. You start waking up. You start, you know, everything from the entertainment business, the music industry, the movies, the, you know, the symbols they throw at you, the the blatant you know symbology occult worship pagan worship you know sun worship whatever they worship you know we all know who they worship what they worship that pyramid and um you know you know you know who's on top of that the all-seeing eye and stuff but here i am rambling again all right let me get back on topic so this event 11 3 which supposedly sunday tomorrow so we shall see and they're saying another possibility might be a pandemic which was very interesting um with the ebola cases breaking out in um in the congo which was what the summer it was over three thousand infected and god knows how many dead they you know they um they saw that they saw that shut they stopped reporting on that and then when, uh, what's his name, uh, Dr. Drew was talking about a pandemic in um, L.A. He's talking about the Black Plague is, you know, was surging in L.A. Because I understand with all the homeless people, it's a horrible affliction that's happening to all our cities now. New York, you know, many cities in California, Seattle's horrible, I heard. Back to Seattle. You know, just any major city, Baltimore, what have you. Chicago, Detroit, a lot of homeless people. It's very sad because they're all, uh, you know, they're they're just like us American citizens that that's tough out on their luck, you know, lost their jobs, started feeling hopeless because they've been betrayed by their government. Their that many veterans have been betrayed by the VA, the you know, the Veterans Association. Um, it's just it's just horrible what's going on, and um, I can't I. I mean, nothing surprises us anymore, but it could get much worse, you know, if, if God forbid, or God knows, Donald Trump gets impeached and the Democrats with all their policies and uh, no policies, they're all just bickering and fighting over, I haven't heard a single solid, you know, solid policy that has any backup or any logic to it. 
it just impeached Trump. I'm not, you know, I voted for Trump back in the day, you know, four years ago. Uh, the lesser of two evils, as they say. Better than Hillary. God knows where we would have been if Hillary was elected. It's funny if she's going to even jump into this 2020 race. That would be a doozy if she does. Because who do they have? Bernie Sanders? I think AOC should, uh, Cortez, or Casey Cortez should, um, she should jump in. I mean, she's not, she's not more wacky than the other people. You know, Pocahontas, what have you. So, it's just, it's just crazy the state of things going on. The civil war tension. Back to this 11-3 event. So, it's either, what, what can it be? It could be a pandemic. They might release some virus. What have you, uh, weaponized measles, smallpox. Uh, it could be Cascadia subduction zone. It could be a bombing. It could be a terrorist attack. Could be Antifa. I mean, what else? I mean, you you guys could debate in the comment section. You guys could talk to me about you know about what you think might happen. It doesn't have to be on this date, but you know we're we're approaching a new year. Something, you know, there's a tension in the air. Something's building up. Something's you know, bound to happen. Something will happen before the new year. I bet you that. We had a pretty crazy one at that. The 2019 um, Notre Dame, uh, New Zealand, all the shootings in Texas, you know, Ohio, everything that happened. It's horrible. I know. It sucks. And then we start finding out about crisis actors. S more people are waking up to false flag uh ideology you know researching what that is crisis actors and all this stuff we have the election looming next year it's just gonna get it's gonna get more i'm not gonna say crazy and crazier because we already live in some crazy times it's gonna get more interesting but definitely more wackier so we'll see what happens on sunday 11 3 they're saying a seattle uh prophecy is gonna get for f fulfilled you know what have you but I digress, you know. Like I said, it's either might be a pand. If it does happen, what can it be? It could be a pandemic. It could be a earthquake, a big one. You know, <coughs> harp, <laughs> harp. It's not that far off from there in Alaska. Even though they got a bunch of them, a bunch of harps in uh, many locations. If you do your research, well, where they uh, control the weather, cloud seeding, what have you. I mean, I've been delving deep into many, many rabbit holes, many conspiracies. It's just interesting to research, you know. And then when you find out, many conspiracies turn out to be <laughs> mostly blatantly truth. And you see, uh, more and more people are waking up, which is uh, God, you know, God bless, God send. You know, people are waking up to this madness. Not even talk about fake news. You can't trust media, blah, blah, blah. The left, right paradigm. But we'll see what happens uh, before the new year. I'm gonna post many more videos. Um, if you guys wanna, if you guys like the topics, I mean, you guys could suggest in the comment section below what you want me to talk about. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Give me some subscriptions. I, I'll talk about anything you guys want to talk about. I just need a thousand so I could go live. We could start live chats. It'll be fun. It'll be interesting. Live chats are always fun. You know, you could give your um humble opinions we could uh debate things you know real debates not like uh scripted uh the entertainment television tell a vision you know <laughs> tell a live vision what they do over there now it's just it's just crazy hollywood's not been um very fun they haven't been coming out with many interesting movies in my opinion hasn't been you know it's just been craziness you know reality Drama, BS, between politics. Everyone's a politician now, but I digress. So 11 3 event, yeah, it's very interesting. The Seattle, the needle, the needle, you know, the, it's been, we had many uh, predictive programming things regarding that, regarding the Seattle needle. And many people talk about Seattle, again, the earthquakes. You know, the fires in California, I mean, what can make it worse? You know, fires in California, the whole West Coast is just on edge. What else can there be? More earthquakes, like in July 4th, the China Lake that I mentioned. That was a 6.4 earthquake. Um, 
So that could be a Cascadia subduction zone slip, as they call it, the slip and uh, fall. I'm not a geologist by any means, but Cascadia bombing, you know, whether ter from a terrorist or from a country or North Korea hasn't been too happy with us and they're, they're just right over the ocean right there. And like they say, missiles could fly. Or it could be a false flag, you never know. Russia's over there too, China's over there. It's all over there, you know, North Korea, China, Russia. They're right there, right on the west coast, right on them. You know, the world's getting smaller and smaller the more um, globalized it is. So China, Russia, North Korea's there. It could be a, you know, it could be a atomic blast. It could be a... You know, a sabotage job, or it could be a, you know, a terrorist attack, false flag. Like, we hadn't have enough shootings, you know. You know, it's been a little quiet. It's it's always suspicious when it gets just a little too quiet, you know. Right before the holidays, Halloween just passed, thank God nothing happened there. But, yeah, right after that, I mean, what do we have? We have November and December, then it's 2020, you know, time flies. And this year by far has been a pretty, pretty crazy year. It's been a lot of stuff, a lot of people waking up. I don't, I don't know if many elites are happy about that. I don't know. Many of them are probably not happy, but I mean, what can you do with social media, you know, Twitter, YouTube, even though they're the giants of tech. You know, the tech giants from Silicon Valley, Google, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. People, they're not going to stop the people from talking. That's why YouTube is trying to censor many uh, truth or ch uh, channels. I forgot what they're calling it now. What is it called? A borderline content, that's what they're going to call it. It's going to be a warning, borderline content. So it might be dangerous. Anything that I'm talking about right now, it's uh, the flag it right away all right but i digress so what i just want to say just um don't live in fear you know uh be strong be thankful be truthful be moral you know love your families love your close ones your loved ones you know and live like we're supposed to live in america you know be free like i say i put my trust in christ I'm in the process of getting saved. It's a long process still. Can't get to the Father unless you go through Jesus Christ, you know. I was a baptized uh, Russian Orthodox. I always believed in Christ. And the only, you know, Jesus is king, like Kanye said. Only Jesus might save us. Might. I think he will save the majority of, you know, we're all good-hearted people. We're all good people. The majority. It's only the rotten hundred or thousand. Or maybe hundred thousand. Who knows? Probably a hundred thousand of them. But in the top echelons, probably the 13 families. Uh, PG&E is going broke with California fires and all this stuff. And how could they go broke? They're, you know, that's all the money you could ever want from the Rothschilds. They're run by Rothschilds. And so is all the corporations of America. I'm going to get into my next video just right about that. The whole Disney conglomerate, how it owns Fox, CNN, and owns everything. Disney owns everything nowadays, man, if you look at it. But I digress, so I hope you found this video helpful. I know I've been rambling a little bit. Uh, like I said, I'm starting this new YouTube channel. So if you like the content, you know, please subscribe. Please, please, please like, subscribe, share, comment. Uh, if you if you want to hear about anything else, uh, any topics, feel free to you know comment down on the on the page, and let me know what you want me to talk about. So help help me get to a thousand so we can start these live streams because that would be fun. We could always talk, you know, debate, you know, go through issues, you know, when we swing ideas around us truthers. It's it's always fun. It's always good fun, you know. Like one YouTuber said, no one's having more fun than us. <laughs> That's a little shout out to him. The bear, the bear community, if you guys know about that. If you don't, you'll probably find out if you um, really want to. But yeah, 11-3, we'll see what happens on Sunday, tomorrow. I'm going to come out with a whole bunch of new videos, so stay tuned about many, many fun, fun, interesting topics. It's a interesting time we live in now. 
I'm gonna talk about all this stuff, about the tech giants, about the 13 families, the Council on Foreign Relations, the UN, Agenda 2030, Agenda 21, what have you, Ebola patents, rockets, NASA, Flat Earth is fun to discuss, I mean, we'll see, a lot of people are waking up, so, like my content, please give it a thumbs up, please subscribe, please comment, I wanna hear some feedback from you guys, if you like it, if you don't, I know I ramble too much. If you, if you want to speak your mind, just speak your mind. But yeah, please uh, help me get to a thousand so we can start live streaming. I'll put up a lot more fun videos for us to watch. So let's stay tuned to this for this event. And I'm sorry, it's uh, 5 a.m. I won't show you. But my phone is charging. I'm a little tired. But I hope you found this info you useful, entertaining. A little more entertaining than Hollywood, you know, fake news, reality TV, what have you. I digress. Okay, take care, guys. You know, keep your trust in God, yourself, your heart. You know, be free. Always be free. Don't let fear, you know, don't let fear uh, get to you. Don't let, don't let these people get to you. Never live in fear or never live in, what's that word, what's that word? Don't live in grief, don't live in fear, and uh, it's 5 a.m., I'm sorry, a little tired. Yeah, just, uh, just keep on keeping on, take care, guys. Please subscribe, give me a thousand subs so I could go live and we could have some fun. Take care.